Prussian alert. Chewing gum have invaded the ward. We didn't keep an eye on them, and now they are everywhere." We didn't know that it takes five years to degrade chewing gums on a street, and that they are dangerous for wild life such as birds, which think that it is bread, eat it, and choke. However, cleaning chewing gums requires a large investment of money and using a lot of energy and water. But to find a solution against it, in the south of France, throughout the summer, a team of students, as part of the IGM competition, is working to solve this problem and in thinking about how to degrade chewing gums using synthetic biology. The gum, after it has been chewed and thrown away on the sidewalk, is made mostly of gum base, which is composed of butadiene and polyisoprene polymers. So, we try to express in a strain of E. coli enzymes called lacase and lipoxygenase able to degrade these polymers. Our strategy is to produce cytochrome C, which after light excitation will be in an excited state. Then, all lacase like will oxidize the cytochrome C. It will allow it to produce some highly oxidizing species, free radicals. The action of free radicals and of the lipoxygenase will help to degrade polymers present in the chewing gum. So, we will try different combinations of these enzymes to have the best results. Then, in September, our team will fly to Boston. To present our work in front of the judges and other teams of the world and maybe win a prize. So, if you want more information about our true fight, follow us on Facebook or go see our wiki. The links are in the description of the video. And if you want to support us, we have creating a crowdfunding appeal, so click on the back. Thank you for watching our video and see you soon!